Gable trying to throw a hit there on Faulkner, the biggest terrier, and then he'll throw a big hit in behind the McMurray net on Landon Wellacolo and off field clear. Brad Bowles across and back to Bowles. One timer, pad saves Zach Fortin. Now they swing it middle to Trent Lofthouse. One on one for the Barons. Carries in Dangle, shoots and a pad save. Big rebound lying there. Dropped back by Holmes, and it was out of the reach of Vanderland. Lofthouse a two on two with Wittenberg. Trying to dangle around Alexander, he did. He's wide open side of the net, cuts it front, drop back. Wittenberg shoots and he missed the net. And there's a penalty coming up here. That. As they'll now carry in Jordan Boyd. Hip check down hard by Brett McNeil. Get one two on a rebound. Now it comes to Day High. Saw his shot blocked by Perova. Came to Durkee. A turnaround shot is wide of the net. Clap shot sticked away by goaltender LaForest. And then Houcher throws a nice little hit down on the near corner to spur the crowd to something. Diving play by Lawler, got it free to Durkee, fed side of the net, Houcher from his knees, he shot one just over the net, and off the end glass. Jetlin Houcher's known for that kind of stuff. Up the far side, but Vanderland able to keep it in. It's getting to the slot. Lofthouse air mails one over the net. Cuts to the middle. Peel over for a one timer by Alexander right on. The rebound snuck behind Fortin and just wide left of the net. Angie hammered down hard away from the puck by Sean Bowles, and that will draw a penalty. Holds it. Gave it to Houcher. Houcher down to Durkee. Looking through this slot. Well, a call of a one timer scores! Got it to Alexander, carrying in from the left circle, fed in front shoulder, point blank shot, and a great save made by Zach Fortin. Trent Lofthouse for the Barons, dropped it back to Vanderlyn, back to Lofthouse, fed in front, Holmes is one timer, skips off of the forest, and wide of the net. One bowls at the end boards, but Waldvogel has the puck. Bank to the left point for Peel. Landon Peel winds and fires, scores! Play goals tonight. Landon Peel with a blast from the left side of the blue line. Look to beat Zach Fortan through his screen. And Portage has drawn even with the Fortan. Way off to the right side and tuck it behind the net. McKinstry in pursuit. Knocked down hard by Matt Alexander. Resulted in a shot on goal. But if it had, it would have been all the more beautiful. An off balance hit by Zach McNeil as he knocked down Kevin Pocha. Terriers, it's Peel. What a slapper, but a glove snag again by Fortan. in this deadlocked opening game for both these teams. Boyd, a good job to speed around his band, fed it back door, shoulder couldn't get it past Fortin! Unreal with what developed into a three-on-one rush for the... Now to Boyd at the face-off circle, put side of the net, jammed out in front of the cage, and no goal! The Terriers appeared to have thought they scored. Right point shot, that was blocked. Faulkner in pursuit of this, knocks down Zach McNeil with a big left shoulder hit. Now Wittenberg has possession, cutting right half boards to the side of the net. Zach McNeil tucked it in front. Shea scores! <laughs> Talk about taking the hit to make the play. Zach McNeil knocked down with a big hit to start that sequence, but gets back up collects the puck at the side of the net and flicks it in front to Isaac Che, who finishes that one with the one-timer to give the Oil Barons a 2-1 lead just under five minutes into this third period. Che had just eight points in 39 games in the regular season. They're a huge go-ahead goal. To Davis Ross, long wrister through traffic, tipped and just rolls wide right of the McMurray net where Fortin gets on top of it with a glove to help his Ross. But back behind the net, Lofthouse put in front, Vanderland jamming at it. Zach McNeil again, collides with his teammate Franz and falls. Terriers spring it the other way to Faulkner, but he lost the handle on it, came back to Jago, fed back in front, and over skating at that time was Jared Weave. Now to Wittenberg in his own end. Dumped in from the red, as he took a big hit from Perot and got knocked down. Did hit. McKinstry slips behind one defender, put it left side, Gable cuts in front, and backhands it wide of the net! Pressure Wellacottawa to Nanji at the point. Back to Wellacottawa. In front of McKinstry's on the low. Kicks it to the stick. And his shot is stopped by LaForest. Going to get ahead. Houcher could have a breakaway. Now it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one as he carries in. 
Dangles to the side of the net, backhander right on, rebound, McKinstry couldn't get a shot away, drop back by Lakalawa, misses it as well. 20 seconds to go, battle four by Holmes, Lofthouse has it to put this one to bed, Trent Lofthouse in on the empty net, shoots and scores. Chase this down in his own end for the Terriers as time expires and Portage is going to have to come back from behind here. The Fort McMurray Oil Barons take down Portage 3 to 1. Tell how big a win this is for an oil barons team.